What's up, YouTube? Mr. Love Missy here, and today we're going to be continuing our guided playthrough for the Throw Barbarian. Now, we're going to be probably breaking Nightmare up into two parts, and the reason for this is because we want to make sure that we get enough farm that we can kind of continue forward. Remember, we do not have the option of runewards for our Throw Barbarian uh, in his weapons, and that honestly makes a big difference not being able to reliably get some runes right there. Additionally, getting something like Cannot Be Frozen will be tough. We'll probably have to go for Hearth um, if we want to get that, which means we'll be farming Nightmare, uh, and just like the Nightmare Countess. And then additionally, just trying to find some better gear overall, because again, we need to kind of improve. Plus, we need to get levels. So, we will uh, jump on in. I'm going to go ahead and start back in normal here. Um, because I do think it'll be important for us to, at the very least, come here. And let's do players 8. Let's see. Let's try players 5. We also have our mercenary... What do you mean you can't use that? You don't have 73 strength? What level's our mercenary? 25 and he only has 61 strength? Impossible. Oh my gosh. Okay, well you can use this. And not that. Oh, it's 95 strength he needs? Oh, he's got no chance. Oh, it's an Act 3 mercenary. I forgot we had that for Bale. Okay. Let's try let's try an Act 5 mercenary out here. Um, we'll grab... Tough to say. I like, I like the two-handed better. He's not going to be able to use that. Can he use the one-hander? No. Okay, we'll give him Berserkers. Give him the Mantle. And let's buy him a weapon of some sort. Seems nice. Okay, Damien. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. Suit Sahib, thank you. Now we can both battle cry and we're just gonna keep going double throw right now again we'll respect later so something that I love about the act 5 mercenary as you can see right here the dude is just a tank straight up my man is just a tank. And he also has his own battle cry, which means he will weaken them. Which helps us and helps him. So this is something that I do love. Seeing the low damage and seeing it's normal. Well, you have to remember that this is, yes, normal, but we're on players 5, so... It's not like it's a players 1, right? fight it's 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 a little higher hmm, 25 light res actually gonna be better than that but overall yes I mean it would be nice if we still dealt more damage and we're looking to do more damage something that will help us out for sure is if we can get ourselves some uh, exceptional throw weapons because right now we're throwing with normal weapons which works but it would help a lot with the, having exceptionals of course we also have the option to use rancid gas potions and poison everybody and use that for our leveling Why well, no Frenzy? Frenzy is okay. Um, you know, it does speed up the, the hits, but we'd have to sit there and build the Frenzy and all of that. I kind of prefer Frenzy, 
when I have extra, like when I'm a much higher level. Because right now, just like a single point in Frenzy, I don't want to commit a bunch of points there. But a single point doesn't feel like it does enough. Never seen Act 5 Mercies on a playthrough? Yeah, the Act 5 two-handed mercenary is actually really solid. I'm going to go Player's 8. It feels like he's, uh, dang it. Feels like he's hanging in there pretty well. We're also going to get some more poison. We'll do this. Why don't we hear info about Season 5 from Blizzard? Oh no, you gotta you got ask Blizzard on that one. Does throw benefit from damage AR charms? It does! We have a 6 max 44 AR charm and it is worth like... Tons! It gives us like plus 22 damage and 150 attack rating or something. It's really nice. Low damage. Again, this is players 8. Ooh, balance knives. Something. So, you know. 61 ED. That's nice. Alright. Upgrading that may be a thing. Turn on terror zones? Oh yeah. Why are terror zones turned off? Uh, I don't know. That's weird. It's turned off for both of them. Farming and Norm just started, yeah. Bruce Willis when we're in a tiara, uh, it definitely seems a little bit like it. All right, so we have 14 to 18, nine to 21 here, 192 attack rating and 50 poison damage. Definitely really nice. Yeah, we'll go ahead and upgrade that. Normal or nightmare? Getting 50 poison damage is actually really nice. It's a slow tick, but I mean, look at how many mobs are poisoned, so they're just taking an extra 50 every time. Nightmare. Oof. That might be a rough one. <laughs> Don't I ever update the commands to my title? No, who does that? Oh my gosh, Fyfus. 1046 max. <laughs> so and steady. Yeah, part of me wants to do cows, but I know it won't go well. You know, like, we just don't quite have the AoE and damage to do cows. Just not quite. Nice. So yeah, just getting some levels here. Here's our, our damages. Again, this is player's eight. It's going to be a little bit uh, tough. Take a little time, but good way to get a little bit of experience. 
And we'll probably move over to Nightmare pretty soon because I do know that, you know, farming Nightmare will be good for us. We want to do some, like, tower runs and things, and that'll be good to do. So maybe I just hit level 30 and respec. That way we can get, like, natural resist and some of that stuff going on as we head into it. Yeah, we can look at crafting recipes as well. We can look at, uh, I mean, we have these balance knives right here. What's it take to upgrade a normal to an exceptional weapon? What's that cost? Oh, wisdom would be amazing, but getting pole rune would be hard. Pendorans are also good. Yeah, I don't think we kill fast enough. Hustle on mercenary, that'd be nice. But again, gotta get the co rune, you know. Ral, soul, emerald. Okay. So that could be something. That's cute. No, Nightmare Countess will not drop co rune. Sadly. You can't put sockets in throwing weapons. So, yes, due to game mechanics, not possible. We'll take a look at what we can do. Change the mechanics. Oh, of course. Easily. Hello. I plan to return to D4 at some point. Mm, I don't have any immediate plans. What keeps you going with D2? It's just a good game, man. The game is just fun. I wish Diablo 4 was so fun that it, you know, took me away and I... Got to go experience a new game, but I didn't experience that personally. Probably not Rebex. Of changes they would make, I doubt that's one. So it's all good though. At this point, we're waiting for Lama RPG to come out. We can see if that game will be uh, the game to do it. Ooh, a doll rune. Upgrading a rare. Should be the same, though. Played D F Season 0 around 200 hours, Season 1 around 1 hour and got bored. Yep, that's pretty much exactly how I did it, minus I didn't play season one. It's actually... Check in with Mr. Warren. Titan Quest 2 reveal. Yeah, I actually need to see the reveal of everything. Crashing Blow does work with the gloves, yes. I I made a pair, but they only rolled 5%. So, it's annoying. They didn't show anything in the trailer? Yeah, that's uh, concerning. Not concerning, but that's, you know, I want to see stuff. Llama, if you were to find one unique for this build on this run, what would you wish for? Mm, maybe like Death Bit or something. That'd be a pretty good uh, pickup for us. Eth Lacerator? We wouldn't even be able to really use it. 
Uh, yes. Outer seal. <laughs> um, that's right. We can now use our gloves. So we'll go ahead and put on our gloves here. Which rolled perfect lifesteal, perfect plus to life. And the worst crushing blow. Level 68. I if I found Eth Lacerator, I would I would probably work my way up to Rare Amulet. To level 68 to use it. No, I would love Razor Tail or Wisdom. Something like that would be great for this character. Because my skill is only giving me 37% pierce chance, so. Honestly, getting Razor Tail would be a really big boost. Getting Razor Tail and Wisdom? Ooh, baby. Crushing. Goodbye, Steel Clash. Hello. 18 to energy, three to strength. Well, we'll take it. It's not great, but gives us some mana, which is helpful. There was a lot of hopium for Diablo 4. I tried to be optimistic, but cautiously. I think a lot of people went full out. This is going to be the greatest game ever made. And then that led to probably some further disappointment later down the line when eventually it didn't reach there, you know. Yeah. I mean, you know, you can understand the excitement and people's desire for it to be really good. Because I had it too. Greatest game ever in creation is Llama RPG, so you're told. Wow. Interesting. Frozen Whisperer, thank you. Interesting. That's what he's been told. I'm just going to farm to level 30. We're 29 and 7 tenths, so we're almost there. Try Pindle. I'm not gonna kill Pindle fast enough on a high player's count. One more. Is it Arcane that was? Terrorized? Okay. Will there be an ability that lets us to, to throw llamas at the enemies? Why would you throw llamas? You are a llama. Thanks, Connor. Hope you have a good one.
Level 30! Let's go! Arcane Terror Zone can drop Korun? Mm, not at this level, no. Maybe if I, like, max out my level. Okay. Ah oh, man! I was really hoping these had Eth Repair. Dang it. That's unfortunate. Just keep them and pump points into mastery. I have pump points and points into mastery. I just don't quite have enough. I slowly lose my damage. Look at that, 21 to 61 damage. That'd be such a big upgrade. I do feel like no, I don't I don't know if you could infinitely replenish. Maybe. Yeah, I think I'm gonna imbue these war jabs though. Let's actually check out So whenever we're looking we always go ahead and just oops. Uh check these out and just look at things like their attack speed and stuff mm, very fast is not what I'm looking for let's find the area at summit summit war javelins are minus 10 that is the same speed yeah extra fast fast isn't what I care about I care about the the value there so we can also find better boots in Nightmare. Let's go ahead and imbue this. 10 IS 60 ED. Wow, 52 AR. Mucho good. We love that for us. That's very nice, getting the uh, little ED boost on there. Some AR, and then obviously these are really nice as well, but we, we probably can't, we'll, we'll hang on to those. Bash charges, yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's solid. A little bit of an upgrade there, which we like. Let's do a respec now. So I want to get natural resist. And I'm again, I'm probably going to put a couple points here. I also want to get a point in increased speed. Throw mastery. We definitely want some points. Battle orders. Uh, I'm gonna let my mercenary battle cry. We have battle command. We'll put points in double throw. And... Hmm, maybe just the rest in double throw. I almost want to save a couple points for like natural resist. I might save one more or we'll just use a future point. We'll just use a future point. Let's do two more in battle orders just to make it at least a minute in duration. A point in leap and a point in double throw. That looks good. We'll definitely get our dexterity up. I'm gonna run 70 dex, 50 strength, and the rest vitality. 
And I think we're ready to move forward. The circlet's just 113 attack rating. Now we can always come back and do a socket in quest there as well. No, 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 it's just, but it's got half restoration, so it's a pretty nice circlet for us. Just try and get our AR up overall. And we are on players eight. I'm going to I'll stick on players eight through the blood more at least. Just in case we get a nice falling group that we can fight. Let's see, what we get two to find item. Old Enchanted Cursed. Yeah, it's a pretty terrible uh, group, actually. Dude, our mercenary is a beast. I really do love Act 5 mercenaries. Like, they get, they get slept on more than any mercenary, for sure. Oh yeah, sorry, let me change here. To farm cows for two spirits to off offhand buff. Yeah. At some point you just uh, gotta let that go. Like, offhand buff would be nice, but. That is what it is. Alright, now I'll go down to players. One can also remember to help him out a little bit. Telly staff is very important, exactly. Plus four skills is only, what, 40 seconds added? Like, yes, it'll also, of course, give me more life and stuff, but. Would Charcy have any good gear if lucky? Charcy will definitely have an upgrade for me uh, because I'm looking to upgrade my uh, boots and she will have an upgrade for that. No. So hard to keep mercenaries alive. Okay, let's Go grab him. I did battle orders him, I thought. Unless he didn't get it somehow. Okay. Alright. And we're still looking for an upgrade to this balanced knife, as it's definitely uh, less damage there for us. So, that is something as well that we can potentially look at if we do take a quick second. We can head over here and do the same thing that we did before, which is just looking at the different cube recipes that exist. So obviously cubing runes we know, um, this is all that perfect skull, this is Stone of Jordan. Rare item, magic sword of leech, random magic gammy, random magic ring, uh, quivers, stacks of javelins, throwing axe, perfect gems with that, the different rings, shield of spikes, Savage Polearm is nice. Uh, could just like try rolling random weapons potentially. All right. And let's 
let's see. Nice. We have blunt weapon, axe, rod, spear, javelin. Okay, a safety weapon we can craft with a soul, a perfect emerald, and any jewel. And uh, doesn't really give us a lot. <laughs> but it would give us a chance to potentially look at something. So if we find multiple souls, that is uh, a thought. Isn't gambling a legit strat for this? Yeah, we could try looking at gambling and seeing what we get. Once we get to the lower Kuros, that probably will help a lot. Can I update my gear on Diablo Run? Uh, it's supposed to update automatically, right? Maybe I have to be running the Diablo Run software first and then it'll update. Helm. Should increase stamina, one to find item. Meh. Alright. Stony, hopefully. Nope, burial. We also need to find a better weapon for a mercenary. So, if we can, uh,. Find a nice, nice weapon there. That'd be solid. Three gifted for Blood Raven. That's all she's worth. Who's got the match? <laughs> Just kidding. We can we can check her out. Just a grief. Can't use grief. Oh, man. Oh, there's the kickoff. I didn't look. All right. I guess we'll go down. There we go. Hey, we got a match here. You're thinking of enemies I never kill on my run. Blood Raven would be one of them. Lawbringer for Mercenary? Yeah, I mean, it'd be lovely if we could find Lawbringer. That'd be fabulous. Alright, Blood Raven, what she got? Come on, girl. She runs so much. Yeah, she is always a tank. Hustle for fanaticism. Oh, hustle on the mercenary. Again, it sounds nice, but... How am I supposed to get the hustle? I gotta find the Korun. Gear wheel, please. Or is this a llama wheel? <laughs> it's a llama. Thank you, Binary! Thank you, Bartmans and Frozen Whisper for the subs! Just casually need the Korun. Cows are Terror Zone solo. Yeah, this character will get wrecked in cows. There we go. Blood Raven dead. Oh, it's Commander with five gifted, Rag with three gifted. My goodness. No. This is to you both. Thank you so much. Twenty faster run walk boots sound good to me. 
Oh, look how fast I am. Yeah, we'll go back for Den now. Llama Ill update the bounty board for part hell as well. Okay. <laughs> for the crypts? What are these? Ask. Is Throwbarb the hardest build to level? Eh, it's probably harder. Like, again, he's doing actually totally fine. If you compare him to, you know, the Blizzard Sorceress, yes, he's slower. If you compare him to the Hammered In, yes, he's slower. But he's shockingly doing quite well. He's able to hold his own. He, he was able to kill players eight bosses right there still in Nightmare. Like, this is actually not bad at all. Very, very happy. He slows down Nightmare if you don't have good weapon upgrades. Oh yeah, I mean, he's definitely going to slow down some. Like, that's... That's for sure. Three open sockets. We could make like a Malice, I guess, for the Mercenary. It's just a giant sword, though. I probably want to get him a a better sword. Can we spend a good chunk of time farming Nightmare so we have good gear? Yeah, I mean, we're not going to, like get some crazy crazy stay alive buddy but we definitely can look to get something that's nice for him just get some good stuff when will the Amazon vids be posted they should be coming up soon one to battle orders it's nice lose all the attack rating and stuff though which again that's a lot of attack rating for us. But then, like... I think we'll start posting it tonight. No, this is player's one. The rogues are safe for the moment. Okay. And one more skill point. We'll just put a double throw here. Yeah, getting even like a lore helm though will be nice. Because plus the skills really do help your barbarian a lot. You have to think, you're buffing your leap so you can leap a little further. You're buffing your battle orders so it lasts longer in battle command and you get more from it. You're buffing your weapon. You're buffing your weapon mastery. Like, plus the skills, surprisingly, is extremely important on this character. Okay. I do have a mosaic build guide. Exclamation mark guides. Icy veins is where I've written all my guides, so. You'll be able to find them all there. Full normal run, it'll be up on YouTube, like I say, today it will. Probably in like five hours. It just has to process. It it was taking a bit to process getting over to YouTube. They dropped a rune. Ooh, it's 
Good eye. Okay, we have waypoint. That's nice. Let's see if we can find uh, stones somewhat close, because Rakanishu could actually be a nice farming spot for us as well. A mosaic guided playthrough? No, it's not really a guided playthrough character. Um, because it's a character that you make once you have two goal runes. So... Eric the Nasty, thank you! Yeah, that was a fun one, Bruce. Let's see. Let's see if we can like players eight. Rakanishu. See how it goes. Well, of course. Greetings. Eh, not very good. Did have life steal though, which was nice. Um. Okay, so we're players eight. Oh boy. Two boss groups. Three boss groups. guys must have spawned players one. There's no way they're players eight. Why Bash Mercenary instead of Frenzy? Bash Mercenary ends up being stronger and like tankier, honestly. Like Frenzy Mercenary is nice, but he just taunts stuff and here he actually uses Battle Cry, which really is super helpful in himself surviving. So. We're thirty one. Your battle cry, fool. Ooh, a rare great sword. I like that. Also, I like getting just like some topaz and stuff here. Because this may allow us to go heavy on, uh... Okay. May allow us to go a little heavier on magic finding a little bit later on. Alright, let's see it. Nice! Two open socket, 28 to 43. Very nice. Hmm, what do I even want to put in this? Two open sockets. Amrun would actually be solid just to have. Lifesteal, but I don't have that. 
I could put Tal Tal and just try and get him stacked with poison right now. I don't have a Thol rune either. It's like, do I want to save for that though? Or do I just go Tal Tal? Seven max. You could just do an Ithrin for nine max. Uh, I mean, the thing is, yes, we could save for Countess, but it's not like it's enough damage, I feel like, where we can go crazy, you know? Like, I'd almost rather just put the two towels in there, give them some nice poison damage. And then we'll replace that weapon later. I think I'm going to do that. It's not quite a good enough weapon to not just uh, do it this way. Peace is really nice for a throw barb. Ooh. Yeah. It's my hair recovery two to critical strike. Chance for slow missile when struck, but the chance for Valkyrie oh, on striking is super Anything nice. Interesting happened? Laughing face. But yeah, plus two to crit is actually pretty solid. Hey, Gond! Oh, you missed everything. Alright. Can you do it with another character? Yeah, I mean, it's not like, again, is, it, is this the strongest character you're gonna play with? No. But you can definitely play it, have fun. I mean, this is player's eight. 25% chance to crit at level two. That's actually pretty solid. Actually, not bad at all. Okay, another level. Probably good there, probably good there. Let's go more double throw. Extra strong. Dang you, Rakanishu. Another great sword. I mean, it can't be better than the one we have. Oh my god, it's so good! Hmm. I didn't think it was cold enchanted. Oh, and steady. Alright. That's probably enough players eight. Right there. Wow, 11 max, 31 ED, 38 AR. Two to traps. Ugh, brutal. Just do another racking issue for an even better greatsword, exactly. 
We'll hold on to it because that is an upgrade over this sword for the most part. Uh, it's actually a pretty decent upgrade. I'm just gonna make the swap. The poison is nice, but I'm just gonna do it. All right, let's continue forward. Oops. Kill a couple more dudes. Now he just needs to drop the greatest sword. Exactly. Then we'll be set. You miss collecting magic cards? Don't do it! It's a trap! Okay, there's a boss group over here. You can tell because it says minion. Thank you, Bunberry. Hey, the only place I'm gonna sink my money is Llama RPG, baby. And my baby. So much in for the baby. It's not bad. We just bought more diapers today. I just went and picked them up. And Chipotle. Well, yeah, obviously, I have to eat. When can we pre order Lama RPG? Someday. No pre order plans yet. I don't know if it'll even have a pre-order phase, honestly. Oh boy. Uh, Midora archers are scary. Let's kill the boss. Even without the Midora, they're still scary. Now, something that you'll have to do if you do want to have a mercenary run along with you is a lot of protection. So you see me making those, like, teleports around and stuff? That is just to protect my mercenary, straight up. That's why I'm doing that. I'm just trying to get him out of harm's way when he gets too surrounded by something that's just too gross. You can also just step in next to him, and that can be a nice way to kind of help out by just tanking a little bit of it, but... Ultimately, especially until he gets some life leech and stuff, and if there's like extra strong mobs and things, then it's just going to be too much. Made your first grief today? Oh yeah, it's uh, ridiculous. It's like almost nice. Uh huh. That's a faith base right there. This is probably a dead mercenary, I'm guessing. I'm also feeding him potions left and right. And now I'm gonna step in the way of these archers and tank for him. Alright, nice. Able to make it out. Eh, 
And we'll pick up battle darts and stuff because, hey, maybe we come across some, like, godly battle darts. I-S-E-D. Whatever it is. You got pumpkin pie for tonight? Nice. Surprised to see me running out of javelin still? I mean, it doesn't happen crazy often, but it does happen. Like, I think when you have Throwing Mastery fully maxed, it's usually pretty close. Especially if we get, uh, plus like crit strike, right? 40 to life from a gothic plate. Oh, this is 48 to life. Never mind. And we can always look for better boots, gloves, all of this stuff. 10 IS. Kind of like my gloves. You always max throw mastery first. It's just not gaining very much additional boost at this point, so I'm just going to go max double throw. But yeah, it's replenished quantity on crit strike, so we just need a little something else to increase our crit strike opportunity and chance. And then we're good. Oh wait, I guess we need to go back to the Black Marsh. We can go to the jail level one. We'll also go ahead and grab Yes. That was just the easiest barracks of my life. <laughs> no one should it's like, what do you need? Here you go. Thank you. Come again next time. Go there and head back to the Black Marsh. And we'll keep searching because we still need Waypoint and Tower here. And again, this will be a great place to farm a lot of runes. I mean, there's so many runes that can help us here. Honestly, if we spend two hours in this tower, I won't hate it. Which sounds ridiculous. You're like, two hours in a tower? What are you, Rapunzel? Get it? Oh my god, we get Steel Driver on this run? Really? This run we get Steel Driver? That makes me so mad. Ah, oh, I love this weapon so much! I wish we could be Whirlwind right now. 240. Mercenary cannot use it. Dang, that'd be so awesome to use. That makes me so sad. Oh well. Even like if we were playing like Druid, shape-shifting Druid, run around with that on? Oh man, you just have an absolute blast. Such is our life. Waypoints gotta be tucked in here, no? Just tucked around the corner from the tower? No. Alright. Up here. Uh, I'm like, let's just make this a whirlwind run now instead. Oh, good to see you. Chris? Uh, yes, 29 cauldras. Hmm. Now a whirlwind run, we're using steel driver. Even though we just did that guy to play through.
interested in throwing them all around legit? I think so. Now remember, if you want to be on a higher player count in here, you totally can. Um, just remember to lower it back down before you kill the Countess. Otherwise, she's only going to drop one rune, most likely. So to increase your chances of multi-rune drops. Have I ever found a higher endurance in a guy I played through? Oh yeah. I mean, literally the last guided playthrough we did, we found Ohm Rune. The one before that, we found Sir Rune and Vex Rune. Now, I don't always find high runes during guided playthroughs, but the last couple we've we have. It's been wild. Always check out your barb helms that drop. You never know if you're going to get something really nice there. Could also, of course, uh, imbue that if we want. But with Lorehelm coming. And we'll just go more double throw. Make sure to feed potions to our mercenary. Ethrin. And we'll kill for experience. All right. Ooh, level 33. I think we're good to just keep pumping vitality at the moment. How hard to make Enigma in single player? It's definitely tough. Getting a jaw and a burr is no easy feat. Now, is there always the one dude who finds jaw and burr in like a week? And it's like, I don't get what you're saying. It was super easy for me. Yes. <laughs> There's always that one guy. Honestly, I don't even really want to... Ah, he died. I was going to say, I don't even really want to fight against Curse like that. Yeah. Curse, Lightning, Enchanted Archers. You always find Cham before Jar Burr. Yeah, I've found a lot of Chams in my life. Getting our mercenary a, a little bit more resistances will be really helpful. And then getting him more, uh, or getting him some life leech. Those two things would be really great. So, even something like a smoke, you know, if we, f if we get a lum rune later on, could be really nice for him. Nice, quid. Yeah, Bulwark would also be really great. But getting two IO runes is a lot. Because I want one to make a hearth for myself so I can have Cannot Be Frozen. Now, we may just have to honestly go without Cannot Be Frozen because I do agree. I think Bulwark might actually be nicer there. That That's a really big uh, item for... Mercenary. Wisdom would be great, but I gotta get a pole rune, so that's Nightmare Countess prayers. 
We'll see what happens there. Ithrune. Make sure I'm on players one, but I'm pretty sure I am. Oh, I definitely am. Yeah, my experience you can see isn't that much. Just unlucky. Feels like we're farming n normal Countess here. Zero MF. Okay, now raise that and lower the player's count, because I'm not killing on player's five. Also, I have more magic fine. I've got 21... 28... 28 MF. Doesn't Dariel drop death bit at all? Try players three... Yeah, and Dario would be really nice for it. Yeah, possessed are always really annoying to fight. They just take forever. True. Two ohms and three goals. Save to queue up for CTA. I thought you had two ohms. Why do you need to cube up? And that is the place I'd have to farm, right? Oh, for higher runes and skip CTA. Um, I don't really cube ohm runes, I feel like. I mean, you could, but... It's just like, if you, if you want... Thank you. If you want grief or something, sure. And Dario doesn't. Get out of there. Dual Gimmer Shreds? No way. It's like no damage. The highest rune she'll drop is Io. And she'll drop everything up to that if, you know, she does so. R34. Wait, what's R34? Nope, Io is. You can't socket throwing weapons, so. No rune words. Alright, Shale is good. Shale is nice for us. That's a. Uh, start of a bulwark or a hearth. Turkey and cheese, Sammy. Well, it's not a hundred percent deadly strike. It's deadly strike and crushing blow and things like that on weapons is localized. So each 
item has its own deadly strike amount. Oh, it's also peace. That's right, which gives us the crit. The crit and the Valkyrie. Since they supposedly fix that. Slow missiles on struck, which hopefully I'm not getting struck too much, but yeah, it's all right. It's something at least. Oof, some painful multi-shot archers there. Painful. Okay. Head over here. So Shale Thol Am is gonna get us the peace runeward. So I guess we can discuss everything that we would like to get. I would like to get Shale Thol Am because I do agree, peace actually will be pretty nice. Um, since it gives us, oh, we could imbue some more war jabs. Uh, gives us crit strike, gives us the Valkyrie, which is a really nice tank. And then some cold res and some other stuff. I don't think it's the best thing ever, but honestly having a little bit of crit strike potential I do think will be really helpful for this character. Especially because he replenishes on crit, which could be nice. We also want to get a lore helm, which is Ort Soul. That'll get us plus one skills, which, like we talked about, having plus one skills. Will be very nice. Yep, only Thol left. Hmm. That's not bad. 9 to 42. A little bit slower, though. We can try it out. Um, we also can look at getting a uh, bulwark like we talked about, which is Shale Io something. I'd have to look up the third rune. It might be great on the mercenary. Shale Io Ort. Okay. And, uh, so that could be decent. We also, of course, can look for the hearth if we don't put the lore on. We could go for hearth and have cannot be frozen. But what makes me feel more okay about not having cannot be frozen is, A, if I have half freeze duration like I do, then that helps. But B, having a mercenary and also having potential of the peace where a, a guy is, like, out in front of me. I'm spawning the Valkyrie and stuff will definitely be helpful. That'll that'll help a lot for that. Soul not Ort. Ort is for ground. Okay. Soul room. Shale Io Soul. Hey, three open socket light plate for our piece. Perfect. That 
works out nicely. Level 34. And this is the nice thing about Nightmare Countess is A, you can just kind of move through and get your runes, but you also get a lot of experience and you can really continue to get experience down here up into the 40s if you start changing the player count. Mm, I don't really want to fight Curse, Holy Freeze, Aura, so I'm just going to skip all of that. Good evening from Sweden. How's it going? It's great. Fish like to swim with the Prime sub. Thank you so much. Shale Tau and an Arbalest. The Langer Brisser. Love it. Excuse me. Picking up the second shell rune is actually really nice. So now our rune needs are Sol, Io, Thol, and I think we should have everything. Um, if we want, though, further, we could pick up another soul rune. So then we could use that for, like, upgrading a weapon or something later. But we have two. Just pile them, actually. We've got some, like, stuff already, so. Be careful there, Damien. It's a lot of potential damage. Ah, stone skin. We'll leave him alone. Use your battle cry, Damien. Why do we have a battle cry if we're not going to use it? Shale, I, or Ith, Ort. Alright, getting a lot of shales now. Yeah, knockback, well, I mean, knockback is also nice to have on, like, uh, you know, if you get a bow with knockback and stuff, that can be super nice. So, knockback is nice when you are a ranged character. When you're a melee character, though, it's the worst thing ever. Worst comes to worst, cube the shales. Exactly my thoughts. That's why we're keeping all of the, the shales there. Because, yep, worst come to worst. We just start cubing, baby. What would it take for you to continue D4? This seems to be the, the question of every day. They'd have to go in and really, I mean, A, if they have a really fun season, I definitely could see myself going and playing at least some hours of the season and then, you know, moving on. But 
they would have to change a lot of core pieces. It's just... The game feels like a large collection of systems that were given to chat GPT or whatever. Somebody was like, make a game that has an item system, a crafting system, a whatever system, and it just like built that it built it out, but the systems don't really mesh together super well. There's a lot of confusion among like various pieces. Obviously many of them are still in like basic forms, like gems and stuff. Pally skill level. So, did I win the chess tourney? I did not, I got second. I should have won it. I literally had it won and then I just kind of threw it. Um, but I was just too tired. It was like six hours, I think, that I had a... Uh, by the time the finals were over. And I just can't play chess for six hours straight. I just was I just was too exhausted. I couldn't see moves anymore. So, I, it was fine though. I was a little upset, but I was also happy with it, you know. We'll get him next time. And second's still not bad, yeah. And we beat Gotham chess, which I was happy about, so. Yeah, fun to watch, fun to play. So all in all, I think it was still a, overall a, a win. And in better news than losing the tournament, we hit a we got back to eighteen hundred rating yesterday. I hadn't been at eighteen hundred blitz and. I don't know, like a year and a half. Because I didn't really play much, and so I kind of like dropped down. I was playing more like a 1600 level. Oh boy. But we got back to 1800. And then uh, we also ended up hitting a new highest rating ever today for Blitz, which was 1834. I think that's what it is. Where, wherever it is right now, it's the highest I've ever had. And we got a new highest puzzle rating. Over 2700. So, hitting, hitting new highs in it. Which is crazy because... I like really had done, you know, a decent amount of chess back then and worked my way there and whatever, but then I didn't really do chess for, you know, a good year. I just played casually like a few games here and there. So it felt, felt good to be able to kind of get back into it and then immediately pick up where I'd left off almost. Would I say I'm better at hockey or golf? Mm, I don't know. I wouldn't say I'm great at either, but I'm, you know, okay at both. Oof, extra fast. Let's go this way. Ah, I'll take Roma. Been there before. Did I ever figure out the pad flopping? I think it's just how my body lays with the pads a little bit, kind of. And I just have to like be more intentional about how I put my legs down and drive my knees down. Oh yeah, Rama's really good at golf. Mm. 
Nice, Bob Dole. Let's see, 20 IS, 16 to 46. Definitely an improvement over the one we have over there. But we do need more dexterity. So we'll hold it for now. That's fine, more dexterity is great for us anyways. Just gotta level up a few times. Here Dallas is getting hit with the heat wave though. Yeah, it is hot. It's been hot for like a month and a half. And and it's been hotter than I've ever known it to be here. Like we've definitely had, you know, summer where we had 50 straight days over 100 degrees or whatever. Like those have definitely existed for us, but those would be like 101, 102. This summer it's like 108, 109. It's like many, it, it, the temperatures are getting ridiculously high now. So yeah, I'm not sure how many, how many more years we have on this earth. It's not that hot everywhere on Earth. I'm pretty sure it's been the hottest uh, year on Earth in over like a hundred, like in like 150 years or something. By a lot. <laughs> hottest month ever recorded in July, yeah. <laughs> We have at least 20 years of love and appetite to work, work, look forward to, it's true. Ah! Uh, I do like 39 light res. All right, we'll lose, oops. We'll lose the uh, energy there. Life tap charges. Yeah, it's just getting hot, 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 hot. Ow! Yeah, he's dead. I didn't realize the little dude was cursed. Oh yeah, I mean, there's a million ways to prove climate change is real. But if you ever want proof, just look at how much money the oil companies spend at trying to say it's not. And then you know it's true. <laughs> 20 IS on that puppy as well. Old Enchanted is not fun there. Like I say, there's a billion ways, but...
Bring it. Come on, Iothal, Iothal. Eh, I don't hate Amarins. Eighty-two attack rating, eighty-seven to mana. Let's go, baby! Wow, eighty-seven to mana is nice. Yes. We like that. Impossible. What do I have in here? Oh, my light plate and this. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Alright, Steel Driver, it's time to sell you, sadly. Yeah, it's a really nice flat mana boost that Battle Orders boost even more. Can't decide if I want to use two of these or not. Captain! Who is it? Thanks for the lovely streams, Moo Moo Moo. Oh, 194 mana. Mwah, thank you for the elite donation. Appreciate you, bud. Just two barbs. Hanging out. Best level for Gold Dagger Gamble? Uh, what is it, 11? 10 or 11? I think I, if you Google Mr. Lime SC Gold Dagger Gamble, it'll take you to a video where I talk about it, but. How's Thorbarb going? Great, we're level 35. Let's go, Mr. Cruising away, just need to find some, uh, some nice things here. Let's go players eight really fast for the chest and back to players one. <laughs> Tell you away. Fourteen to thirty seven. This is only nine to forty two. Is it worth it? Losing some of the other pieces. Does make it tough. Yep. Barbmers is great, man. Again, he's like super slept on. Act 2 mercenaries are nice, but they're actually a little bit less tanky. Now, we may grab a Holy Freeze mercenary in Act 2 because that does have extra tankiness thanks to his Holy Freeze. Just slowing everything down around him. There you go. But the battle cry is huge. Oh my gosh, ML. What are these rune drops? No souls. No souls. No eyes. Okay. 
What you gonna do? Oops. Yeah, we may just be cubing up three Amarins. Now we still do need an Amarin though. So. Does Mercenary have strength? No, he's just using a rare that we found. Is 509 MF too much? Only if it's slowing you down a ton. Otherwise, nah. I've had characters run like 800 plus. Eight forty. What's the likelihood Blizzard does any of the updates on my wish list? I don't know. I mean, even if it's only like five percent chance, I still would rather like have it out there for them as a wish list. You know, the more that we kind of put those things out, the more that there's potential that they see it and make some changes. So. Angelic? Come on, baby. Oh. Truth, Commander. Best thing you can do is not play the game till they fix it. Uh, I think he's talking about my D2 wish list. Yeah, I mean, D4, I agree, though. Captain with five gifted subs as well. Oh, my goodness, Cap. Mwah. Thank you so much. Come on. That's not bad. Max damage? Oh. Mario mustache. Hey, now. Appreciate that, Cap. Iothal. Wow. Ral. Okay, let's start cubing some things, I guess, because we have just too many runes now of the ones we don't want. Hello, how are you doing? Okay. So, Ral, Ral, Ral. Make an ort. Tal, tal, tal. Make a rowl. 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 Tal, tal, tal. Uh, that at least gets a couple ort runes, which is nice. Guess we can do this. Just a little basic stash management here. And... Sell all of this. Hmm. 
money. You go here. Yeah, that'll be good enough. Nope, no news yet on it. Will there be a special item or cosmetic we get for playing on Diablo or on day one of Lum RPG? So, I'm like partially torn on some pieces like that. Because I don't want the game to have, like, something that I hate in games is when you just join to play a game later and then there's like, you just can't get the, the cool things that the people who played at first got, you know? Like, to me, that experience feels bad. It's like, oh, okay, I just, no matter how much I do, the completionist in me that just thinks, no matter how much I do, I can never get everything. Or maybe I can, but then I'd have to trade for that, but there's a limited quantity of it, and, you know, because one of the people that I got it at the start, whatever, right? So, that leads me to be very cautious about that. Now, the idea could be something like everybody who plays on day one gets a an item or a cosmetic or whatever piece, and then every anniversary of Llama RPG, everybody is available to get it as well, you know? Something like that could be possible. Might just make it a consumable? Well, then it's even more like the as few as the more and more get used, they become rarer and rarer. So Yeah. So I'm I'm still trying to think about exactly how that'll all be. But again, maybe the solution is as simple as on the anniversary of the release of Lum RPG is when anybody can get it again, you know. Lum RPG is the name of the game. There probably won't be any good skins to start because people have to craft skins and skins are hard to make. So, it'll take a bit. Another Amrim. Wild. Hustle does work, yes. Yeah, I mean, again, I just, I, I worry about doing too much making the people that were just there at the start get the cool thing. Nice, 30 faster run walk, half freeze duration. And that just being too, like, nice for them and nobody else, you know? Hustle is really great, yeah. They had some, some really nice rune words they added.
Oops, I meant to put that in dexterity. Oh, I think you appreciate it. Yeah, Hustle initially was kind of jank, but now it's fantastic and it has its role and it's really in a, a really good spot. That's something that bothers me about Day 1 exclusives? Exactly! It's like, I don't want people that just never heard about Lama RPG to n not be able to get this cool cosmetic and look as cool just because they didn't know about the game on Day 1. So... You're saying being cool and looking cool is the only thing? I'm saying looking cool is definitely winning in video games. No, I just missed. Say that to my silver friend in league that spent over 3k. I would say he's paying to win. I mean, league is also pay to win in that you're buying new heroes. Dude, the rune drops are killing us here. At least we're getting to level up. We want three different ones. Hearth, for which we need an Io and a soul. Lore, for which we need a soul still. And peace, for which we need a thol. Now, I do believe I could make up to a Thol rune, actually, right now. Eh, it's fine to life ain't bad. Put that over the 1 to 3 lightning damage. Again, I don't hate that we're spending time in here because we're just leveling. Like, leveling up for this character is really helpful. Yeah. Really helpful. Act 3 Merce will help. He'll die. Act 3 Mercenaries have terrible. And yeah, the enchant would definitely be a little bit nice, but overall, it's not going to be worth it. 
having the Act 5 mercenary who can actually exist and hang out and do stuff for most of it is way better feeling. I mean, we used Knack 3 Merce a couple of places. Yeah, exactly. Blessed Aim's just as good, if not better. The only thing about the enchant is the enchant will stick with you after your mercenary dies, so if you just get him really fast. When's Lum RPG coming out? We're trying to get this demo like soon here. It's taking a little longer than we wanted because skills have just ended up being a little bit more hassle to implement. But I don't want to rush it, you know? And that's the nice thing about not having some, you know, quarterly shareholder thing I have to meet and anything like that is we don't have to rush immediately get everything out we can really try and sit there and put out the different pieces when it's ready so but this will be a really like big piece right a lot of everything yeah the shareholders move girl a lot of everything within it is um, the core stuff. So it's like the server, the database, how combat functions. So when I attack you, what's the flow of it? You taking damage, you, you know, getting skills disabled, skills coming in, like items and item generation, etc. So, oh my gosh, extra strong, yeah. So a lot of it is that sort of stuff. Which, uh, yeah, poor Damien. Let's go grab him really fast. <coughs> Which will be very helpful because, you know, it's like, hey, once you have the architecture to build quests, then it's so much easier to just put quests in. Right? Once you have the architecture to do a lot of things, then it just becomes much easier to do many of those things afterwards. Building areas will take time, but you just have to build the areas. It's not like it's a back-end code where it's changing all this stuff, so... Man, we just cannot find the runes we need. There will be multiplayer. I think so, Bobcat. It should hopefully be a really fun social experience. Um, I'm working to build in like party play for it as well. Uh, PvP is going to be a really big piece if you want to play that. If you don't, then you know you don't have to. It's not a big piece there, but if you want to. Proximity chat? Yeah, there'll be like local chatting. Kane Cooper, thank you! Damien, man, you're getting wrecked. Go 
purposely. Mom RPG resurrected when? Well, let's get the first thing out. What's the massacre challenge? Does that kill every monster? I've done that, yeah. You know Blizzard released Diablo 3 and 4? Yeah, it's unfortunate. That they couldn't surpass 2 with it. Trex a D tier unique? Trex or S tier, bro? Maybe A tier? What about A tier? So good. Strength, vitality, hit recovery. Delicious. Big poison res for you. You crazy, bro. Talrin. This is crazy. Uh, dexterity. Use the cube. I mean, we can only use the cube for so much. We still have to get, like, more things. Ah, oh, Wispike's great. Uh-oh. All right. Cold enchanted. Let's uh, go. These rune odds seem rigged. Yeah, we're, we're struggling on it. It's okay. Again, we're 37 now. Like, all it is is more time for us to, to farm. We get more gold, we get more items. Etc. But it is a good reminder to turn your streamer drops on. No hell or IO runes though is pretty wild with how many runs we've done. They just have specific use cases, man, that's all. Not every character wants to use Trex, but... Oh man. I smell IO soul, IO soul. MVS mean mover stream? I would happily let her stream the whole time. How about she streams and you guys troll her? Thol ith ort. All right, we got one. The one we could have already made, but we got it. I don't think uh, they're being updated currently, the items.
cluster mana ring is doing a lot for us. Really nice. Like I said, we'll probably spend two hours at least in the tower. I was kind of hoping it would be less than the two, not the entire two hours, but such it is life. Shale, Thal, Am. Yes, we should be able to make our peace, actually. So let's let's go do that one here in a second. Sorry about that. Champion ghost. See what that crit strike does for us though here. That may also give us enough where we get the replenish and we're good. Battle cry. Battle cry. Io rune. Tal eth. Terrible. Just terrible. All right, shell, thal, am, peace it is. Again, chance for Valkyrie on striking, which is really nice. Slow missile on struck is okay. Hit recovery, two to critical strike though, and some cold res. We will, uh, Enjoy that. They change how the peace summon works. It actually will will stick around now. So yes, I actually get this Valkyrie now, which is really nice. And if we look at the my weapons being thrown, you can see I actually have a positive count now. Which means those ethereals may be on the menu, boys. So long as we can hit often enough. If we start getting to a time when we can't hit very much, then they'll start to drop. But we can always go and uh, improve them. Level 15 Valk is nice. Oh, she's super nice. So that's, that was my hope, is that we could get ourselves to sustainability. Because then eth throwing weapons become an option and... We like eth throwing weapons. When will end the four season? No, no clue. They haven't announced it yet. It should be kind of soon, though. Between now and a month from now. Max World GG is corrupted now. Your browser blocked the connection. Whoa. Did they not update some certificates or something? What happened? That's all right. All my guides are on icy veins, anyways. So, all 
19 to 68. All right, almost have this maxed. I haven't put a point in Frenzy for the buff. Shale Ort. All right, well that does give us three shales now. And we've already used the one. So we could get the soul to make ourselves the lore. Let's see, shell, shell, shell. Do I have any more shells? I, I think I don't. I do have three ams, which can also make a shale, but I don't have a chipped amethyst. Hmm. Now, if I give my mercenary a piece and he kills stuff and procs a Valkyrie, is that my Valkyrie or his Valkyrie? Could we both get Valkyries? That's what I want to know. I doubt it. It doesn't work on Mercenary? Okay. It sounded like it wouldn't, but... I thought, hey, maybe. Well, there we go. If we wanted knockback... And slows target. That's interesting. Uh, more dexterity. Yeah, it makes good sense in this run. Stay away from me. All right, come on, baby. Can't, uh, can't get it, man. Can't get it. No souls. You think that kid who ran a hammered in in his D2 review woulda had fun with throw barb? I don't know. Hey, we got a one to war cries if we wanted to put that on an offhand. But I'll hold off. I think, uh, I think he could. I think it's tough if this is, be, is like your first character you make. Wait, let's just, let's go get the stupid ethereals. Right there. All right, let's try him out. Because we should be good. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Why does Ethereal work with Critical Strike? What do you mean by why does it work? Oh, it's just... Yeah, the replenish, because I have critical strike and critical strike replenishes quantity, now I just get so much value from having these ethereal jabs. Just 
So our damage is looking decent now. 113 to 316 and 96 to 250. There's a little bit of poison there, but not a ton, so. So we're, we're moving really well. That was a chip sapphire, okay. Right, and then if we get a crit, which we have, you know, 30% of the time, roughly, or something. Then that helps. Yeah, close to like 500 top end, exactly. Pretty nice for where we're at. It's definitely uh, not too bad at all here, so. And we have more points for Throw Mastery later on that we can get too, which would be nice. Alright, IO rune, at least a soul rune. Tear Ral Ith. Wild. Yeah, they gave uh, Pierce and Replenish Quantity to Throw Mastery. And it just really was a nice boost for the character. Not finding a soul rune yet is crazy. Not finding an Io rune is unlucky, but like Io runes are pretty rare. But no soul runes is wild. No, we can't drop Ko here. And we're getting close to 39 now, which Around 39, I'm definitely going, okay, I'm ready to move forward. I mean, we knew this would be a potentially a two-parter nightmare run here with some farming. But at this point, I'm like, let me go farm some Mephisto or something instead, you know? Yeah, it's just the Countess won't be dropping it. Will I farm LK for Korun? Nah. L Ith Ort. Crazy. Key lamp is still good. It's getting worse. Uh, let's see. We'll, we'll do some cubing. Orts will make a Thal rune. Its will make a Tau rune. Um, my orts. Yeah, I guess we have enough orts. We can make another Thal rune. 
Ort, ort. Oh, we have enough orts to make another Thal rune, which means we need a chip topaz. We have an am rune, and now I need a chipped amethyst. Let's have to see what we get. Save orts for Telly staff. Yeah, I mean we had seven of them though. At some point. Good dog, thank you. Twenty-eight fire is is nice. Perfect, perfect. Our map's actually pretty good down here, so that is the nice part. We don't have like crazy, crazy levels. Mr. Llama A W W. Thanks, Seda. One of them boys we got one they're not capped but it's pretty close oh, we got one eight to thirty cold damage nice let's go baby okay level up Max out double throw. Uh, I think we give up on the iron and move forward. It's just. Just how it's going to be. Okay, we'll get a two open socket. And Ort Soul. Make a lore. One to all skills is the main piece, but lightning res and mana per kill is actually also helpful. Additionally, we are level 39, so we're feeling good. Let's get moving, baby. Let's get moving forward here. Here for the grind. It's throw bar, baby. You know there's a little grind. Yeah, we're just gonna get a soul rune drop from like a random mob in a minute or two. How it always goes, right? Well, our last arcane was a third way. The previous three before that were all fourth ways. So we're kind of due a first way, you guys. If I was in Vegas, I'd put a lot of money on first way because the odds are way better for us to get it now. If 
You bet it all on fourth, you're a fool. Yeah, this plus one skill is really nice though. Cause I mean, even just like, we get more resistances, we get more faster run walk. Our battle orders is a little better, a little longer. Our battle command is a little, letter, little better, a little longer. Like, our mastery is improved. I mean, it, it plus skills improve like six skills for us or something at least. It's a good way to lose money. Psh. If I lived in Vegas, I would be printing money. Let's get a Valkyrie. You're putting together a blackjack team? Let's go, baby. Double tens? Split them, please! Now, do you wish to farm in Daryl? That's up to you. If yes, make sure to grab yourself a waypoint. I have 12 with the dealer showing four. Hit. Unless the count is like plus eight or nine probably. And then there may be, maybe at like plus seven. And then stay. Got ourselves a waypoint in case we want to farm. Uh, looked like it for a second. pretty good. Jonah with the gifted subs. Thank you, Jonah. Your run's running. Your run is running. Grief or fortitude? Most likely grief. Fortitude if you got like you know, you're just running like a Javazon or Sorceresses. You aren't playing any physical characters. Otherwise... This is part nightmare. Part normal will be up on YouTube in yeah, a few days. Because we have the Amazon run to get up there. Thank you so much, Jonah, with 10 gifted. Crazy. That's actually pretty nice, because it's got two open sockets in it. We could shove some decent things for mercenary. You're a frenzy barb? Oh, they make grief. Yeah, there's no question. No question whatsoever. All right, level four. And Dario time. Three boss groups of zombies here. My goodness. Come 
Curse, Cold Enchanted, Holy Freeze. It's alright. We enjoy experience. Now, your mercenary is probably going to die to Endariel. That just always happens. And I'm sorry for that. Her poison is just too disgusting. Plain and simple. But our Valk's doing some work right now, which is good. Really not bad for uh, Nightmare and Dariel. Oh, I don't have my crushing blow gloves on. Oh well, didn't even need them. Easy. Let the gate be opened. And just like that. Give yourselves the clap. Act one, nightmare is done. Yes, we did spend a decent amount of time there. But that's okay, we're almost level 40. So we leveled up 14 levels, essentially. And I guess we'll sell this, this. We'll keep this there and go here. That's a lot. And let's move through Act 2. Let the gate be opened. We've got some baller eth jabs and then nice war jabs here as well. So two solid war javelins. <laughs> yeah, we can do that one, right? <laughs> Quest bug Andy now always exists. You no longer need to do anything for it. D2R, it just automatically happened. No Act 2 Mercenary. We could pick up an Act 2 Mercenary now. I'd have to get a weapon for him. And then we could look for an Act 2. Uh, might would obviously be really nice, but I am afraid Might might die. But with the Valkyrie... Hmm. Sounds good, Rag. The act boss is being terrorized is like too good potentially. It's really, really strong. At Mr. Llama SC, can you put in a call to the devs to bring back e-bugging and add e-bugging to weapons? Uh huh. Let's see what I can do. So at this point. We've maxed out double throw. We can start putting points in double swing for a little bit of damage. Obviously, putting points here gets us 8% more attack rating, 5% uh, more damage, and a little bit more crit, pierce, replenish, or chance to consume. So I'm gonna go ahead and go a little bit more in throw mastery, but battle orders is also looking nice to me at this point. Because I am liking the idea of just having battle orders and kind of crushing it that way. Oh. 
tank us up, tank our mercenary up, tank our Valkyrie up, right? All three things being tanky will, will give us a lot. So, I'm not against it, but it's, it's just very good. Like I said, potentially too good. Only one even prime with 21 months. That's a prime number for you. Thank you so much. Twenty one's not prime? You sure? Ah, uh, three and seven. That's a good call. Oh my god! Steel driver and then bone snap. What is happening? Brutal, man. Why are we not whirlwinding? One to 24 lightning damage, 12 attack rating. We'll definitely keep that there. Yeah, a little extra lightning damage right now isn't horrible. Dun, 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 dun. Mr. Beetle Burst. Is there a waypoint over here at all? Doesn't look like it. Luffa Yamada with the 19. Now that's a prime number. Everybody loves Bone Snap. My first playthrough on D2R with my brother, I built a WW Barb and got yep. Bone Snap. Yep. Carried me through most of the game until I traded a Mal Rune for the IK set lol. Nice. Oh yeah, everybody loves it. Okay, got our waypoint, let's find our hole. Four. Yeah, for now at least. And not up here. Okay. Check out the war jabs. Ooh, ninety percent ED. This is 60% ED, so it's damage boost, a little attack rating loss. Yeah, seems similar. We'll keep the prevent monster heal. Just in case we need it later on. Uh, where's the hole at? Up right there? Oh, right there. Kano also returned to D2. Oh wow, I thought he was going to stick D4. And shift over to the speed running that. Probably just bots can all. Hmm. 
Lots of bots. Wow, that is wild. It's jam packed in here. Why are there 5,000 young beetles? Oh my god. At Mr. Llama SC Diablo is a game about hell. Uh -huh. What would be hell for you? Playing Diablo 3 for eternity? Or playing Diablo 4 for eternity? It's hard to say, because I liked Diablo 4 more on it on the playthrough of it but Diablo 3 has had the time where they actually built like more endgame into it and even though it's not the greatest thing ever it technically is some endgame so I feel like there's more grind that I'd actually enjoy over there That's right. If you ever get super tired of it, just teleport everywhere. When's the next no hit run? Not sure, maybe like end of the week or something. I can't. I can't. Impossible. All right, cold worm. That's even your real name? Man vs. Stream is August 26th and 27th. Rag with two gifted subs. Thank you very much. Right Alright, and let's go to the Lost City. First MVS for you. It should be the first MVS for honestly a lot of people, because it's been a couple of years at least. We tried to do it a couple times, but we ran into all the issues with, uh, could be an immediate turn off, hopefully not, with Windows 11. We're back to Windows 10 though. Okay, say August 26th, August 27th. It's where you get to come and torture Llama in just a ridiculous fashion. That's what it is. Yeah, like I say, a lot of you guys have not been around for it. I can't. It is good to know that the sun shines. Kill the baddies. Kano! What up? I hear you're back on the D4? Or the D2? I think he's there. Have been for a bit. Whoa, here we go. 
Super Gimpo, thank you. Thanks very much for the raid, Kano. Give a little shout. There you go. Shout out to Kano. He's uh, the second best Diablo 2 speedrunner. Right behind me. Sozen33 gifted a tier 1 sub to Kano. They have given three gift subs in the channel. I need to go this way. Maybe a little bit ahead. Took Assassin P1 world record and tried Druid and was one minute short. Oh, snap. I thought you already had the Druid. Thank you. Wait, Sozen with. <laughs> what? <laughs> with the gifted sub. Thank you so much. Oh, you don't run P1, you're in P. Okay. Got it. You have the PX one. I was going to say, I've got a 104 on the PX Druid. Did you get that one sub one hour? I've beaten Kano on speedrunning Sunday before. Druid still 101. Yeah, I had a I had a 104. Kano also took my hardcore assassin. Oh, thanks, Kano. This could actually be an interesting area to kind of farm, since it'll all pretty line up. Thanks a lot, Kano. No more throwing mastery. Eh, I don't feel it. Eh, maybe. I guess we can kill these cool lords and then there'll be more. As long as you're actually sorry. Just found griffins. Let's go. When am I going to beat your one to Uber's Amazon Hardcore time? What's the time? Nine hours something? God. I just... I'm not e I'm more scared about Milithak. couple days on my Rift kicks in. Thanks for the content and builds. Oh, for sure. Rift is super game. fun. Appreciate it. You fought Mephisto as a melee zon in that run. Actually, yeah, Mephisto is also scary. How did you not get one tapped? I told you guys we we're gonna find a stupid soul rune. I told you. You didn't get harmony runes? What? Isn't that the whole point is that you get harmony? I mean, that's actually wildly impressive. Again, I'm just still impressed you didn't die to Nilithak. Hey, second way, let's go. Ah, laying of hands. That's nice. That's very nice. Yeah, that's... Yeah. I don't, I don't know how you can do that run without laying of hands, honestly. Something like it. Nature's peace, whatever. I mean, I guess the 50 fire is there's super nice still, bro. Second way, you called it? GG!
sure that's over on his YouTube. Let's go ahead and put our crushing blow on. Buy some Thaywing potions for ourselves and our mercenary. Thanks. Thanks. Wish Thanks. I could give some to the Valkyrie too. Thanks. Thanks. You're welcome. And then get some potions for this. And make sure we're on players one. Let's go fight Mr. Duriel. I need you to battle cry. There we go. Alright. Attack the Valkyrie. Wish there was a fast way to give Merce Potion. I mean, if you put them in your belt, then you can really fast just give them to them that way. Easy. What? Rip mercenary. Valk and Mercer are the real heroes? Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm the real hero. I have failed. Diablo has freed. Thank you very much. And just like that, we've got Everything looking solid. Give yourselves the clap. Act two is completed. Let's move to act three. Honestly, level 41, we may be able to, to do part nightmare in one part and then, you know, have just another farm sesh after, after that. Who knows? Affer, I can't talk anymore. Ever since having a baby, I can't, I can't talk. I also can't sleep, so. Related? Probably. Probably. Oh. Jonah with 10 more gifted subs. What in the world? Why do we have an Act 5 Merce? Because he's dope. A man survives and he battle cries, which is really nice. Let's go, baby. Thank you, Domov. How's Lamar FPG going? Great! We're really close to getting a lot of all the core functionality for all the skills and combat completed. I know I've been saying that for like a month, but honestly a month isn't a long time, you know, in coding all of that. 
and then I mean everything is just progressing so it's it's going really well very happy and I just can't wait till we have the demo finally ready again a very basic pre-alpha demo but demo nonetheless There you go, Gus. Sounds like you found what you needed. Goodbye. If anybody's gonna kill you, it's Sark the Burning. Extended inventory mod now for D2R. I am that Uber's run, thoughts on a price. Hardcore hell Amazon Uber's run. I mean, honestly, I don't even think I could survive that. Milithak? That's insane. Are you just leaving every time he's lightning enchanted? I guess so, because he'd be lightning immune then. just sounds crazy though, doesn't it? Flare jungle, flare jungle. <laughs> this one was less than that. Um, we gave a deal on this one because I had enough people requesting it. didn't have a skip and I guessed right to just take this forward. Okay. We're good. Flare jungle. Let's go. I would, I would do a one to Uber's softcore run, Jonah. But hardcore, I, I, I don't have enough experience with the one to Uber's on the Zon. I haven't done that run yet, so I would feel like that would probably not go well enough. That way we could actually finish the run and not just, you know. Come back this way, have you? All right, let's see. How to level on hardcore video. I feel like I've got a video like that potentially, maybe not. What other guy playthroughs do I have in mind? 
I mean, for the most part, I'm just trying to remake some of the like older ones we did that weren't in D2R. So I probably still have to do like hammered in and some basic ones, honestly. I, I was asking, do you just leave whenever he's lightning enchanted, or do you try and lower resist him? Come with the bleed from open wounds. Good lord. Yeah, I was saying Milithak. Just leave that guy. That's what I was planning. This holy blade does not belong in the hands of the soccer room. Ah, oh, we've changed mice a couple of times. Let's see what we get. Ooh, 96 attack rating, 10 FCR. But I would lose the 87 mana or the Nagel ring. Maybe we'll dump the Nagel later on. For now, though, I want to keep that. We'll hold that like that. That'll be good. So hard to hit things as hammered in. You really do have to learn how to move as a hammered in for sure. Yeah, you don't need Enigma at all, but you just you, you really got to learn where you need to be and all of that. I am One to Grimoire, two to Shout, two to Taunt. Ooh. Love these Darn. guided places. Not quite enough. I say we could up them, but they still won't be good enough. Let's check out the new PoE League. It does look interesting, the auto battler. It's a pretty uh, wild league being added there. Flare Jungle is always a great place for leveling up, by the way, so just a great place to grab a lot of experience. Plenty of packs of dudes to just kill. Most of you just have to be careful of the fire breathers, especially if you have bad fire resist. Otherwise, go to town on some dudes. Have fun. How's it going today? It's going well. Like I said, today we hit our new highest blitz and highest puzzle ratings on uh, chess, so. That was nice. Now we also do have an am and a soul rune, so that does give us the option of making an honor. I want to show this really fast. So over here, uh, non-magic melee weapons with five sockets. So if we find a five socketed or a base that's an exceptional weapon base, 
we could make this and give it to our mercenary. And then that's really nice. He gets some ED, min max, deadly strike, attack rating, life steal, replenish life, etc. It's really a solid combination for Amel Ith tier soul. This could be super good for him. So you can look up sockets. And then actually let's just look up pole arms. And look at exceptional pole arms, and you can just look for ones that get five sockets. So we can see Battle Scythe, Partisan are the two that will get five sockets right there, because um, they'll get max sockets from finding them where we're at now. So we want to look for both of these, and a Partisan is my preferred one. You can see the damage is just so, so much better on the Partisan. Um, really high damage. So if we can find a white partisan, that would be ideal. Or an ethereal one, obviously, right? And then we can socket it and go get ourselves the Act 2 mercenary with Holy Freeze or Midora. See, see how he does with Midora. We can kind of trade that over. Impale never misses. Yeah, the durability though. Oh, brutal. How long did it take for that? We also could make insight if we find ourselves a four open socket or we find ourselves a bill, which will get four open sockets. Yes, yeah, sorry, I wanted to uh, discuss that as well. That would also give us insight. Both options are great. Insight's honestly probably the better weapon overall, but honor will give him the life steal, which we really do want. Any chance I can make my Act 5 Merce Unbending Will? If we find ourselves a Colossus Sword, I believe that will get six open sockets. And then we'd have to get the runes for it, though, still. No, Colossus Blade is the elite version. There's an exceptional version that will get six. Either Claws of Sword or it's like Patriarch Gold Sword or something. How much is the Blitz rating? Uh, 1834. Executioner Sword is normal base. I think it's 1834, something around there. 1832. 18. Something along those lines. Maybe it's 1820 something. 24. Right. Beautiful. Hi, right, Alexander. It's locked. At what elo will I stop playing? I'd love to hit 2,000. That'd be a fun goal. But who knows? Do I prefer Blitz or Rapid? I mean, I probably prefer Rapid, but I don't, you know, having time to play Rapid is so much harder. So. Thank you. Throwboard's going great, man. Players, 256 chaos, god. What's the difference between Blitz and Rapid? Blitz is anywhere from three minutes to five minutes. With like increment, you can do like five minutes with five second increment. 
or three minute zero. I think it's like between there. And uh, rapid is anywhere from 10 minutes and zero second increment to probably like 30 minutes or something with 15 or 20 or 30 second increment even. Valencius, thank you. Rapids 10 to 60, oh wow. So you get a lot more time in Rapid. In Blitz, you, you can maybe calculate one or two lines here and there, but you don't have time to just constantly be calculating. In Rapid, you can actually sit there and spend five minutes on a move, four minutes on a move there, you know. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that one there. Thank you so much, Lentius. All right, another point, more throw mastery, and we'll go more vitality again here. Ten plus zero is like a the lowest rapid. That's the fastest rapid that exists. If I'm playing rapid, I I'd prefer to play like fifteen plus ten or something, and really make it a game that you're you know, like, you know, thinking about stuff. Do we have an estimation on long RPG? Not yet. I mean, twenty twenty four is when I think it's you know will be officially like out in a playable form um, like launched but I think we'll be able to play it before then in a variety of fun ways so yeah, let's just not fight those guys exclamation mark RPG discord if you want to uh, get involved more with Lama RPG learn more about it all the good stuff your 1k on rapid, that's not bad. Yeah, I'm excited for it as well. How we doing, Warren? How's it looking today? Now, we are at the part of the run where we go to players eight. I can't carry anymore. And click all the clickables. What did I do? And it's a great place to get runes like soul rune, gems, jewels, weapon bases, armor bases, charms, all sorts of goodies. If you want it, the LK has got it. Ooh, superior bill. Let's see. Please, no sockets, no sockets, no sockets. Ah! Two open sockets. Well, we could make a strength for a mercenary, which wouldn't be horrible. It'd give him some crushing blow, but overall, strength is pretty weak if we take a look. Yes, it has lifesteal, but it's basically just a lifesteal and crushing blow weapon. That is all. So, that's unfortunate. We'll keep looking. Yeah, I wanted to Larza get to four sockets. These are the super chests here, but again, you don't really just want to click the super chest, and especially if we're looking for bases, we're going to want to click a lot more things as well. So let's see. Ooh, we have two super chests actually. Two sets. Animal Crossing started like Diablo? Wait, what? That's actually a great shark skin belt, except we can't use it. 
Otherwise, it's fantastic. Literally found Ort Soul just from LK. So you can get lots of nice goodies, including like Lemrune and stuff out here if you farm long enough. Of course, lots of charms to pick up as well, which is really nice. So, I mean, we'll probably do a couple rounds of this just because, hey, if we can get some more AR charms, max damage charms, all of that while we're looking for our bases, that'd be great. So yeah, Lower Karast is primo, a primo spot. We'll go here. It is very charming. It's cute. Okay. Uh, one dexterity, six mana, no thanks. Twelve dex, six poison. Mm, nothing good there. Oh, there's Primo. Hey. Small charm. Are you down to 27? Nice. War dart, but nothing on it really. Yeah, Bill is my favorite thing to snag here because we can just make insight which can be really nice I need a key. but you can also of course run into the issue with that of uh, the Actu mercenary just not quite always being strong enough himself and then kinda still getting popped in places so it's tough, but it is nice that we have battle orders. That definitely helps everybody. That's eh, alright. We'll move forward here. 15 fire res. Gorgeous. And 12 to life. Also gorgeous. We can always come back and farm more if we want. Hopefully we find a partisan somewhere on the way. Beautiful. Okay, let's go find Karas Bazaar. We want to find the temple that faces towards the bottom left. And that is where Serena will be. And that is where we want to be. Earliest you can find Skiller GCs is the Great Marsh Act 3 of Nightmare. Assuming that you're not saying like, at, you know, normal bail or something. but just like from regular stuff. Valkyrie is from Peace. Peace Runeward. Okay, and then let's go find our sewers and continue in here. Let's see what we got. At this point, Io is coming from the forge. Uh, man, if we could get pull from the forge and get wisdom, oof, that would be so nice. Honestly, our forge has a lot of really good potential for us, though. Io rune is like you know not great, but hey, it would give us what was something we're looking for, and now we could make bulwark or hearth, but probably bulwark for the mercenary. So that'd be really good. Pole rune would give us uh, wisdom. Um rune would give us duress, which I'm probably using 
I mean, peace is super nice though with the crit. So that that's you know an unfortunate thing as I'd be losing the peace, but. Duress, lots of crushing blow and stuff added there, which would just be really solid for like hell damage and everything if we wanted to kind of hit faster. Um, Korun gives us hustle, probably for a mercenary. Give our act to mercenary hustle or something. So, as long as we just don't get like soul, hell, shale, you know, stuff like that, I'll be, I'll be a-okay. Uh, okay, let's do this, 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 I can go there. So, yeah, being flexible is what it's all about here. Trying to be as flexy as we can. We won't get our mercenary yet because we have Travangle coming up, so no point. Smoke is really nice. Yeah, Lum Rune isn't horrible that we could make a smoke for either ourselves or our mercenary. Treachery from a Lem Rune, obviously, as well, gives us huge value for either ourselves or mercenary again. So, most every rune is probably going to give value except for a couple. So, we have a pretty good chance. Ooh. It's added cold damage, but it's a grand charm. I hate that it's a grand charm, but I love that it's added cold damage. What happened to speedrun Sundays? I missed those. It was just too hard to coordinate having the while well, having the baby and everything. It was a lot of fun, but yeah, baby, this game too much. healing each other left and right. We need to drag them away. We're a back part. Teach the baby to speed run. Oh, I'm ready for when she's ready. Just gotta wait a tiny bit, you know. All right, let's see. 10 IS, 3% life steal. It's okay. It's okay. Anna! Guten Morgen! Hello, hello everybody from Miss Cramling Stream. Oh my goodness. The Queen of Chess. How are you doing? I did did you hear? I got my highest 
chest rating. I got up to 830, 824, I don't know, 834 blitz, something like that. Just this morning. We're working on it. We're coming for you. Coming for you. Didn't she beat me last week? She wishes. No, the Frenchies beat me. <laughs> she played very well, though. I was super impressed with her training of virtual. I was crazy impressed. Did I deserve to win? Not at all. It's okay. The event was so long. I just was tired. I just got so tired by the end of it. I couldn't focus six hours, man. Almost as long as this map. Welcome, everybody, from Anna Cramlings channel. Happy to have you. My name is Mr. Lama SC. I stream Diablo 2, but I play chess here and there. Anna and I have uh, played a few games together. How'd our last game go together, Anna? Ooh, oh wait, hold on. It's a tough one. Hey, I gotta enjoy my victories when I have them. <laughs> Let me enjoy my victories when I have them. She beats me more often than I beat her by uh, a decent amount. Anna was actually one of the hardest people for me to to like finally start winning against and playing well. She plays so 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 smartly. Is that a word? Go here. Oops. Perfect. Can you tell us why you're so good at chess again? Uh, because people like Anna worked with me. They taught me things. I actually think we could probably... He got carried, basically. We could probably just go man up on him and fight him straight up. Yeah, we have good cold and light wrists. But this is always a way that you can fight Mephisto if you want. If you want to get more in his face... You can do that as well. Let me uh, grab my mercenary and heal. Exactly. I just wanted to show people that they could cheese this boss. Did I learn all those millions of openings? Oh, no, not at all. I, I don't think learning openings is uh, that important until you're like 2200, 2300, it probably starts to matter. Do you think Orsha will win the consolation bracket? I think he will. He was very talented. Again, if he's only, you know, a thousand rated or whatever, it's like, oh my gosh, no way. Obviously, hand and brain is different because, you know, it hand and brain definitely, like, brings the playing field closer together. Because if you're not thinking for yourself, you, you make more mistakes because you're trying to figure out what your 
brain is telling you to do and all these things. But for like lower level players, it helps them prevent like moving their queen around as often and stuff. So, you know. Oh no. But, yeah, I 100% I, I can't speak today at all. I 100% think Virtual will win that consolation bracket. I think he would win the finals, honestly. He, he was playing extremely well. But probably just took too long to actually get kind of moving, you know, that he'd already lost too many games. This would take a long time to get to playing at the pace it was designed for. Yeah. Pretty much. Let's see what we get, baby! Big money! Well, we got Saigon's, which isn't horrible. Saigon's gloves is uh, in combination with another piece, 30 IAS. So, if we get like Saigon's belt, Saigon's helm would be really nice. Definitely a little bit of potential. But with all of that, give yourselves the clap chat. You have beaten act three. Let's move to act number four here. We are level 43, doing well. I don't quite have enough strength for Saigons, but you only need 60. Jonah with 10 more gifted subs. Goodness gracious. Now my fire res is a little bit low, so that is the like bad thing about right now fighting in these spots. Let's kind of get stuff a little bit away here. Uh, Damien's gonna die, yeah. That was just bound to happen. His fire res is also not great. We need to get him a smoke or a treachery or something. That'll help him out a lot. But we can go ahead and kill some dudes here and get a little bit more EXP. Again, we're already 43, which is pretty solid. We can definitely spend time leveling in Nightmare. And we do want to kill Isual, as again, plus two skill points is just too good. Too good to pass up. Go ahead and clear some of these dudes out. Witch Doctor and Dugu or Thresh Socket? Mm. Witch Doctor. Wait, I already killed Witch Doctor, right? Oh, for hell. Uh, yeah, give me Witch Doctor. Because if Thresh Socket, Stone Skin and stuff, that would just be a nightmare and impossible. Peace with the Valkyrie really helps. Yeah, the Valkyrie's great. For sure, Uncurled. I love him. 
Nice and simple. Okay. We're definitely getting to the point as well with Damien where he's starting to struggle a little bit. Um, I'm going to go one more point into natural resist. And... Another point to battle orders. I think going battle orders now for a few levels is going to be really good. Are we beating to Bail today or is this a split run? I think we can try and take it to Bail. We could also split it. It's hard to say. I mean, data clock is coming up at some point here. So we can't go too long, but we rushed it. But then it's like, ah, is it better to just level up in Nightmare some at, you know, Eldritch and do that farm before we do Ancients, which it probably is, so. Maybe we just take it through Diablo, split it there. I mean, the general idea was to split Nightmare up anyways, so that could be part one. Part two is leveling all the way through Nightmare and finishing Bale at like 60-ish. And then Hell, we could do, you know, for, for a stream. That's probably the best way to do it. Oh boy. Damien! There's too many mobs. Open contract for Nilithak. Okay. Oh boy. Alright. We'll clear from here and then work our way in. So Nilithak will probably be the next one, I imagine. Unless... it eh, depends when we kill Diablo here. Eh, probably though. Just clear out some of this area. Again, um rune, pole rune, lem rune, co rune. Foul is potential obedience, but we'd also need more, so foul's not great. Io is alright. Hell's garbage. Shell, soul, that'd be all garbage. We've got plenty of potential. Just no, like, soul shale trash, you know? There's so many things we can make. Let's see what we get. Umrune! Wow! All right. So now we have to make the decisions. We'll go another battle orders, by the way, on that level up and more vitality. Now we have to decide. At the very least, we can make like duress for our mercenary right now. Let's. Well, he, he's not high enough level, anyways, but. All right, so whenever you get your rune, because you pr you probably won't get Umrun, you probably will get a different rune, whatever it is. What you can do is just come here. Diablo fandom's really nice with it. You just type Umrun in and you scroll down and it will show you all the, the rune words that you can make with Umrun. Now this won't have the latest ones. So if you do need to think about like hustle or whatever, those probably aren't gonna be here. 
Otherwise, it gives you a look and it shows you everything that is. So, okay, we're not looking for this. We don't have Burr. I don't care about Bone. That's for a Necro. Chains of Honor again. Burr Rune. Chaos Ulm Rune. Crescent Moon is great. Uh, and actually can make it be made in a pole arm. Ooh, I kind of like that. That's that's potential. Obviously, Duress, Shalom Thol. Gloom, Phalum, Pole, not quite. Kingslayer is actually kind of nice, but it's Mal and Gold needed as well. And then again, here, and we would need Unpole for Stone, and it's not that great. So really, the two that we're looking at are Crescent Moon. No, I was a two open socket unadorned. Which is really, really nice because it has this 7% chance to cast level 13 static field on striking, which is a very large radius on your screen. You also get 20 IS, ED, uh, minus enemy light res, ignore target defense, some open wounds, yada, yada, yada. Now, this still isn't giving him lifesteal or anything like that. I would still have fear that my Act 2 Mercenary, especially here without lifesteal, would just be dying. Um, so, it's got some good to it, but I do have concern with it as well. Now, Duress is really solid. 40 hit recovery, adds cold damage to your weapons, which it's actually an okay amount of cold damage. Some crushing blow, some open wounds, and then 15 all res with 45 cold res. So it's giving additional resistances. Again, this is very solid, at least for our mercenary, if not for ourself as well. Um, I think we'll make this for our mercenary though right now, and then kind of work up from there. Shale um, Thol, do I have a Thol rune still, or did I cube out of the Thol into the Am? I think I cubed all my Thols up. Crap! All right, let's start. Let's start uh, cubing. I knew that was a mistake as soon as I pressed cube on it. I have four shales. Oh wow! Uh, tal tal tal. We have an Ort, we have Ral, Ral. We'll get another Ral and another Ort from Act 5, and then we'll be able to make it there, and he'll probably be the appropriate level at that point. So we'll be all good. So let's continue forward, because again, it is level 47 required. Oh, I have two Orts. Okay, well then we're good. We can make it. It's all right, Wevlin. Lom RPG is what I'm waiting for anyways. Oh yeah, I stream EU friendly. You like Crescent Moon? I mean, again, Crescent Moon is great. Like, don't get me wrong. Crescent Moon is very, very nice. But I, I just don't feel like my Act 5 Mercenary is going to, to do it. Or my Act 2 Mercenary if I switch. The Act 2 Mercenary, I feel like, just doesn't quite survive as well. Yes, he'll have my Battle Orders and stuff to help him out. And maybe if I just go for the Holy Freeze one. But the stun plus the Battle Cry from Act 5 Merc is super nice. Now, he's probably going to die in here because he doesn't have much Light Res, or Fire Res. He only has 49%, and that is not enough for this area. So... How many developers are sitting behind my game? How many we got, Warren? You? Star doing a little. Gary did some. Mars did some. Mostly Warren. Is, he's, he's the main developer. They've had a couple people doing a couple things here and there. But! It's all good. Oh, chat missing. Good call. Lost my Valk. It's alright. We'll spawn another one. One in 50 chance.
Ooh, extra fast. Ooh. As soon as that curse came out. Yeah. Valky. Yeah, if you join my exclamation mark discord, you get announcements for Diablo and when I stream. If you join exclamation mark RPG discord, you get announcements and just overall more information discussion about Llama RPG. Sixty eight percent chance. It's okay, I mean it's you know, it's just tough. I could use a little bit more plus attack rating here and there. Never be afraid to just throw over the bridge map if you have it. Or the river here part. Hey man, use your strengths of your characters, okay? That's all, baby. on to the next impossible oof this is gonna be nasty eh, it might be best to clear from up here then oh yeah Valks tank super well they have crazy tank ability first ever Mars let's go place to get low run lots of various places chaos cows terror zones any of that yeah exactly ketex plus the battle orders is huge travancol works try and take out the oblivion knight Yeah, I think Diablo Run's not working currently for that. Does your Diablo dot run work and update items, Jim? Or is that extension still just a no-go? Okay. Do you have to have the live split timer with the server started though for it to work. Uh, okay. Probably where we 
Need to need to get the timer going on it. Find your first John of Terrazon? Nice. Yeah, Terrazons are really, really solid for for getting high runs, honestly. Okay, one more to kill. A little spicy. Gold enchanted. Are you doing it wrong? Nah, just unlucky. Lower resist is pretty nasty here. Just need to get Grand Vizier. Easy. I can't carry anymore. And there's a partisan, but it is blue, sadly. 17 attack rating, very nice. There we'll go, we'll fight Mr. Diablo. Storm Rider is such a weird item. Uh, let's see. If I do this and then I go here. If you stand close enough to Nightmare Diablo, he won't hit you with his lightning. You gotta get right under him. In hell, you can be like anywhere and you're totally fine. But in Nightmare, you gotta be right there. And if you're like under his legs, he steps over you. Probably a 320-20. Plus, you get a great view. Enhance. This is where having duress would also be really nice. But again, we're a couple levels off. Whoa! My man came to us! Heard MVS is making a comeback there this month. Unfortunately for me, it is. August 26th and 27th. Probably. Makes it too easy. The lightning hose bug. Diallo tried to go in the portal chase us down, I know. This is a trial for the MVS? Yeah. Okay, throw barb. Sure that'll go really well.
I don't think there's been a lack of suffering at all. I have a newborn, thank you very much. I suffer every night. Well, it's a lot of sets and uniques. No, no Saigons. Jonah with 10 gifted! Goodness gracious, Jonah. Having children is pure joy. I mean, it is. Uh, yeah, Mavina's is interesting here. 10 strength, 15 dexterity, added cold damage. I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Let's see if this has got any use for us. <laughs> This builds a lot more smooth than you actually imagined. Yeah, it actually uh, works. That's act four. Give yourselves the clap. You have just crushed Diablo. El Diablo. Now, we're not gonna get bail yet in this one because there will be farming and stuff to do. We're only level 44. But we will at least advance forward a little bit. Maybe go after Mr. Nilithak for Rag there. They did fix that, yes, Klux. Hey, I've got both my flower paintings right in my room. I wake up and the first thing I see is a nice big ol' flower. <laughs> Wake up and smell the flowers, I like to say. What do you mean that explains a lot? S scratch and sniff, I wish. That'd be lovely. Sag. Just how lovely I am. Aw, thank you. You too, Jim. And thank you, Zaris. Now, you know where we're at, and you know what we'll normally do. Again, we are currently going to do a tiny bit of uh, farming first here. Of getting like Pindle and such, and then we'll end this part of Part Nightmare. But it is Eldritch time, baby. And Eldritch is always a fun special time because you can level here to 70 if you want. You can have a blast, and then when you're done farming here, you can go over and kill Ancients and get a, another free level on top there. And it's just lovely. The Lance of Yaga. Also go ahead and save some Barbarians here. Oof. 
Fire hurts. Let us out. Another point for battle orders. Because again, having this survivability now, I think really is going to start helping out both myself, my mercenary, and my Valkyrie, and it's just it's just gonna be a really nice combination. So there are many bar builds I run where I'm just running twenty points into battle orders and kind of, you know, keeping my own damage down a little bit, but the benefit that you gain from having a mercenary that can survive everything. Or not everything, but a lot of stuff is really high. Yeah, we need Thal rune, so we'll get Ral and Ort from there. We can cube three Orts together. And we'll be good to go. Now, we still need level 47, of course, if we're going to... Uh, Get, be able to use that or level 48 if we want our mercenary to use it so we will have to wait for that piece so he can kind of get a little bit from it but no worries we'll go more vitality really start beefing up vitality and battle orders that's just gonna start making us super chonky How come they don't use their TP scrolls before I smash the gate? You know... Do you remember Avatar, The Last Airbender, the movie? Where Aang goes into the... to the area and all the earth shifters are sitting on dirt. And they're like, we can't do anything. And Aang's like, uh, guys, you're earth shifters and you're sitting on the earth with earth all around you. And then all of the people are like, oh my God. And then they just like start making the earth spike up and stab everybody and smash into everyone. So, yeah. It's a little bit like that, I think. Come here. Where they're sitting in there and they're like, we're stuck, we can't do anything. And then we come in and we're like, have no fear. We'll tell you the basics of what to do. Right click on that town portal scroll and they're like, oh my god, you're a hero. Yeah, exactly, said Clem. Anyways, I love that movie. That's a great movie. But that part was a little silly. Wow, Jim. Just that scene was silly, not any other. Exactly. Kill some baddies, save Miss Anya. Man, if we can get an Io rune for Bulwark, our mercenary is going to start doing well. Though we do need to make him a weapon as well. Very much, Trooper.
on your baddie though? Don't say that. Not my Anya. Use your battle cry, you fool. Damien! Oh. Batty means good. I don't know the kids talk anymore. We'll get that. We'll make our journey down and we can uh, end on this. Let's see what we get here. Rip, nothing. Hey Damien, you gonna join the party or just like hang out out there? All right. That works. Now, for those playing the guy to play through along, should you come here and do this? Probably not. Not much reason to kill Milthank. Hair really fast. Um, okay, so this should be a waypoint right here. Mr. Nilithak, you and me have a date. Hey, Lozier. Catching us right at the end. Happy to see you, though. You missed the old insta-kill snakes. <laughs> Good riddance to the old vipers. It's still scary enough down here. Don't need those vipers to make it scary. Alright. Get him! What a punk. Resonating low, thank you! What's up, everybody? Oh yeah, stacked up Ubers is really solid. Easy. Nilithak. Done. Eleven percent light resist, we like that. I'll go ahead and drop the lightning damage. Rag with five gifted, thank you. Mwah. Kisses to you. And that 
ends part one of Nightmare. Again, part two will probably honestly be pretty fast. We'll level up, probably get an Io rune, uh, get our duress going on our mercenary, get all these pieces. Here's the gear that we ended with so far. We definitely want to start working towards some elite uh, throwing weapons. These did great for us, but we could use a little bit more. We have a lore helm for that plus one skills. Nothing really on an amulet. We could try crafting something maybe. Uh, but 39 light res is not bad. We made peace. The Valkyrie's nice. The crit strike is nice. All of that's very helpful. We have dread fist that we crafted for some crushing blow. Nagel ring. 24 hit recovery with light res. 82 attack rating and 87 mana. That's been really nice just to like double our mana. Plus we have battle orders on it. And 30 fast run walk, 10 hit recovery, and some half freeze duration there. Added cold damage, fire, or just attack rating, attack rating, life, res, all of the goodies there. And then here is our build as of right now. So, mainly going to focus a little bit on throw mastery and then uh, battle orders as the two for when we level there. And that is part one of Nightmare. So, Without uh, anything left to say there, thank you so much, YouTube, for watching. Mwah! Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.